about you know the state's reaction and how the state would react we didn't go as far as assuming that they would use whatever means necessary um, to, to prevent us from continuing on with the struggle we just didn't fathom the state doing the same thing of 1976 and Marikana to us as young people because in our minds the young people were fighting for an education why would you say no to someone who wants to access an education didn't Nelson Mandela speak about how the key to success and the, you know the rainbow nation the key to the rainbow nation the economy is this education so you have a situation where the state now comes and they say okay if you're going to protest then then we will show you the full might of what we can do as well private security officer that literally beats a female student down unconscious and ends up breaking one of her legs and now that student needs to go to you know to hospital so it's that kind of interaction that we've faced from private security the interaction that we've gotten from the police and the military has been rubber bullets it's been stun grenades it's been tear gas it's been um, dogs it's been batons and that, that's what we encounter on a daily basis when we interact or when we're at the picket from the police um, and that's also very problematic because, I mean, you have a situation where Shaira Kala is being shot 12 times and being shot 10 times for basically asking the police not to do anything while we move the crowd to a more secure environment and um, that the university would feel more comfortable having them there in. So it, it's been a very violent kind of response.